Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. Abundance and discernment came out. Abundance and discernment. Okay, so there's some some new opportunity, some form of abundance is getting ready to come towards you guys. You need to use your discernment. Okay, but but you know, if this is God sent and this is meant for you, you'll know. Okay, you you'll know. All right, what was that? What else do we have here? Acceptance. So this could be either A, uh, your spirit guide saying, use your discernment and accept whatever this abundance is coming into your life. And listen, abundance doesn't always have to be money. Does It could be love. It could be feel something that you do that's in your purpose that makes you feel fulfilled and happy. You know, <clears throat> you not needing for anything or wanting for anything, having your heart's desires can also be abundance here. Um, this could also be you in the spirit of needing to be in the spirit of accepting things that you have not accepted, being real with yourself. Okay, there could be some things that you need to be real with because I'm looking at this discernment card and it's in this, this, this mermaid is looking at this woman and that's in this acceptance card. So, for instance, like if there's a situation where, you know, I don't know, you're in a connection with somebody and it's not working out. If you think they're cheating or something, right? And you, 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 but you're in denial. You've seen all the signs to that, but yet and still you haven't accepted. And it's like, oh, well, I haven't caught them doing X, Y, Z. It could be that situation too. I don't know. We got, we're going to see. See, there goes that emotional energy. Dive deep. Your spirit guides are saying, like, dive deep into your emotions. How does something make you really feel? How does it make you feel? How does your body react to it, you guys? Definitely sensing some emotional energy here. Oh, that's why I'm feeling the emotional energy. Because you're doing the work. You're doing some healing. So you guys might be a little bit extra sensitive right now. You might be feeling emotional, you know, um highly sensitive, highly emp empathic. Um, you may even be sensing other people's energy. It's like you're in this really sensitive phase. Decisions. So there's something here that's gonna you're going to be needing to make a decision about here. What's this decision? Communication. All right. So there is some communication or message or something coming towards you, collective. And there's a decision you're, you're going to need to make about this. But can we know more about this, this decision and this communication? <clears throat> Spirit is like, ask for help. All right. There may be a need for you to ask for help or like do some more research or study something or find out some more information here. Can you just tell us Spirit? OMG. Spirit does not want to tell us waiting waiting. So some of you guys are waiting to hear some news. Uh-oh. Let me see what that was. <sighs> magic. <clears throat> so some of you guys are like waiting for the magic to happen. It's like, when Spirit, when is this coming? You've been asking for something. You've been praying for something to happen. Um, you know, you've been wanting to know about that house or that car or that job or like when is love coming my way or whatever or when is my business going to prosper and grow like whatever that thing is that you've been wanting you're waiting for it and it looks like you're getting ready to receive communication let's see if spirit will tell us friendship spirit is telling us everything but what I asked <laughs> Friendship, you guys might, this is Three of Cups energy. So, you know, some of you guys might be finding your soul tribe here very soon. Or this magic may happen or come to you. This communication may come to you through a friend of a friend or someone that you know. And yeah, because contemplation is on the bottom of the deck. It's like you've been patiently waiting, whatever this is. But when this does come around to you, I feel like it's not going to be like an, an, an immediate, like easy decision. Because you're going to be thinking about it real hard. You're going to be asking for advice or asking for help here. The future. Yeah, this hasn't happened yet. Spirit says just be patient. Okay, this is coming. The future. Oh, wait. Can you see that? The truth. The truth and awareness. You guys are getting some form of clarity about something. 
some of you all may be getting clarity that it's time for you to move on from a situation <clears throat> mm, that might not have been so positive, but I'm going to move on to another deck because Spirit was like, I am not telling you. What else do we have for the collective? Can you tell us more about this? Thing? Okay. What do you need to release? All right. So you guys need to release something here. Again, I was saying move away or move. I think I pretty much said move away from something. It's time for you to be bold and do something, okay? For some of y'all, that's move forward towards what's in front of you, not looking in the rearview mirror. You know what I'm saying? Be bold and make the first move. And what do you need to release? Because, you know, remember, you are in a healing phase, right? We did see healing here. So, let's see. What else do we need to know here? Show us more. What about this uh, decision or this energy? Whoa. A new start is coming. All right. We, we do know that a new start is coming. And whatever this new start that's coming for you, you guys, it's going to be an abundant new start. Okay. We do know that. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Believe in the impossible, the blue moon card. Once in a blue moon. So this is that magic energy. So we, we you guys, you got something good coming towards you that you're going to believe it's only magical, it's only God, or it's only, it, this can only be the universe because there is no other way this would have happened or or you've been praying for something here. Spirit is saying, be patient, it's coming, it's new. You thought it was impossible, but it's possible. What up? Okay, all right. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and Capricorn energy. Yeah. And there's Aries energy here. The Spirit is saying it's time to take action. It's time to take action. That's like the second or third card here that's talking about you needed to make a decision. You kind of stalling on the decision that you need to make. You might have to scramble around and ask friends or family for help when it comes to something here. Or you might be asking for advice about a situation because it's like you're still contemplating and the wheels are turning in your head about this decision and this new start. But Spirit is saying, no, you need to take action and just go with your intuition, okay? Your intuition is going to tell you this. It says, look at the bigger picture. So we have, you could be an Aries, you could be um, a Sagittarius here because this is Sagittarius energy with look at the bigger picture. Um, I thought I saw, okay, so you could be an Aries, a Capricorn, that's who it was, or a Sagittarius. Yeah. The end of a sub cycle is approaching, so all you need to do is worry about the bigger picture. So when you think about this, when you're contemplating on this decision, you making, the, does this decision that you're making get you to that end all be all or that goal where you're like ultimately trying to go, right? Where, where you want to be, where you see yourself in five to 10 years. Step outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. I mean, this is also North Node energy here too, which is that healing energy we saw earlier, right? You're healing. Um, you're stepping outside of your comfort zone right now. But I also feel like this step outside of your comfort zone is spirit telling you again, take action. Look at the bigger picture. Don't sit on your hands and twiddle your thumbs. Oh, gosh, your spirit guides are testing you. Something, your commitment is being tested to something. So whatever this thing is that you have going on, whatever journey you're on when it comes to healing, don't stop. Don't don't stop moving. Keep, keep, just keep your eye on the prize and think about the bigger picture. <laughs> just keep your eye on the prize and think about the bigger picture. You feel like seriously, because like spirit is, and I know I get tired. I get tired of these like, test after test and it's always going to be a learning experience i know i get that we know we get that right it, cancer energy here too all right new moon and cancer so you and your loved ones are safe here i'm i'm just kind of feeling a sense of like your your fam your family or your friends are kind of being um affected by this somehow some way hmm expect powerful change this is eclipse energy this is the strongest energy in this day expect there is some something i'm telling you something that is going to change your life maybe even possibly affect your family and your friends um i just feel like you guys are in a cycle right now where it's been difficult it's been challenging You've been kind of in hermit mode, doing healing work, focusing on yourself or focusing on whatever whatever you have your eyes set on. You know what I mean? 
show me more about this for the collective. Let's give one more. <clears throat> a time to give rather than to take new moon in Virgo energy. So you could be a Virgo. Continue to give. Spirit is saying continue to give. The answers that you need are coming, you guys. Don't worry. The answers that you need are coming. A new romantic cycle begins. Like right, Libra energy and Gemini energy here. Look at that. New moon and cycle. A new romantic cycle. So some of y'all have love and new abundance coming in for you. But working through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. This was in reverse, by the way. And I don't typically read this in reverse. But some of you guys, there's something that you need to move forward from. And we've already talked about this. You need to walk away from it. Um, don't don't stall, right? Don't let your fears get in the way here. Because I'm feeling like there are going to be some changes and some adjustments required. There's going to be some action on your part if you really want this. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? If you ask for it and you pray for it, then I mean... Let's pull some tarot and see what else. Show me more about this energy for the collective, please. More about this energy. Look at that. You're ending and completing some cycles in the world. Okay, fixed sign energy, Leo. You could be a Leo. You could be a Scorpio. We already saw that. You could be a Taurus or an Aquarius here. The world card is about you successfully ending a cycle. That's why this this you're in this healing energy and why, why I'm like over here like <laughs> feeling like, why am I so sensitive feeling so sensitive to other people's emotions right now like why are people being weird and people were being weird okay i know these people were being weird <clears throat> anyway when you just pay attention to what's going on around you you notice that kind of stuff but the energy just seems off like almost like the calm before the storm but a good storm show me more here about this energy all right what was that yeah, the calm before the storm, five of wands. <clears throat> five of wands is conflict. Competition, but you're closing out that cycle. Show me more about this energy. Aries Leo Sag energy too, five of wands, fire. You can be a fire sign, you don't have to be. But conflict for sure. <clears throat> and look at that, more conflict, five of swords. Five five. Some of you you guys could be seeing the number five five five. That's what I'm saying. Like I was just getting this weird like energy. <clears throat> I'm telling you, you guys make sure you're not arguing with people, going back and forth with people about anything, okay? Just do what you can to relax and not allow these people to, to for you to put you in this energy. Don't allow these people to put you in this five of wands and this five of swords energy. How dare they? No. Mm -mm. Yeah, because you're the high priestess. Spirit is saying you could probably see this a mile away, Pisces energy. You could probably see the conflict going on around you. You can see the energy that these people are in. And you're like, oh, no, uh -uh, I'm good. Because she's turning her head away from this five of wands and this five of swords. You know, <clears throat> here, I'm going to show you. She's looking the opposite direction. Okay. These people in these cars are looking at each other, right? They're looking at each other, but she has her head turned a totally different direction. She's not studying these people. <laughs> She's not. Trust your intuition to get the hell away from people when you know they are not having a good day or their energy is fucked up and you don't you don't have you don't have the time to deal. Or you just don't want to be around it. You don't have to look at this three of swords this is somebody here is in some heartbreak i know somebody's healing this could be you king of cups energy in the hermit virgo energy and cancer pisces scorpio energy i don't know what this is about we're gonna see though there's a divine masculine here that is heartbroken right now and searching for some answers this this, this king of cups is soul searching they're going within to find something, though, to, to do their own healing. This person has realized that. <clears throat> Six of Swords, yeah, they realized that, and now they're moving away from the conflict or whatever this is. They're trying to heal. They're trying to find their peace. Six of Swords. Somebody's searching for their peace <clears throat> and serenity. 
Show me more about the King of Cups. Okay, the King of Cups could be an emperor, a boss. Okay. It, they could be an Aries. They don't have to be. Show me more about this King of Cups. So this King of Cups is a divine masculine for sure, for sure. Like in their in their high vibrational energy, right? For now they are, okay. It's looking like they really are. They're doing some healing work, searching for some answers. They, they're moving away from drama and conflict. This could be you. Five is where this fits. I don't know who this is yet, but seven of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. Okay, so to me, that's like seven and one. So we've got eight pentacles here now. Seven of Pentacles is about waiting, deciding, am I going to invest my time and effort and energy into something here to make it grow, plant the seed, watching it grow here. It's about seeing the results from what you, from how you've grown. So this King of Cups could, could be growing and financially, they could have built an empire. This could be somebody who persevered through something, okay, and they progress. They put time, effort, and energy into something. And it took a while. It did not happen overnight. It was slow and steady is what this was. This person's very hardworking too. Okay. Somebody built something and they worked very hard at it. Show me more here about this, this King of Cups. Yeah. Knight of Swords. I almost said Page of Swords for some reason. Knight of Swords. Where is this Knight of Swords going? So this is somebody here who's very assertive and direct, basically. Very smart, very focused person. This is somebody who's a perfectionist and very ambitious, too. Show me more here about this King of Cups. What? Show me more about this King of Cups. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, somebody's getting a new perspective here because they're carrying too much baggage after some sort sort of ending here. Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands. There's an ending in some form of betrayal that this person, that this King of Cups realized. And, re and, and when this person realizes this information, again, this could be you or this could be a, the new person coming towards you. This is somebody in your energy. The Hangman. They're getting a new perspective after all this baggage. This is somebody, a, a divine masculine, who's like, damn, something about this situation is not right. Something about this situation is not right. And then they did more digging and they found out it really wasn't right. Hmm. More Pisces energy here, too. Show me more here about this King of Cups and Emperor. I don't really know what this emperor has to do with this yet, but can you tell me more about this divine masculine, please? The chariot and the strength card, Leo and Cancer energy. Again, this is somebody who's very ambitious, very bold, very brave, okay? The, the, somebody's overcoming some sort of obstacles. I'm telling you. What about... Can we get more information? So this is could be the person carrying the good news here. Page of Wands, some exciting news. Tell me about this Page of Wands. Justice. All right, so this person is bringing in justice. This could be your good karma. This could be the person that's going to come in and restore balance into your life. Show me more about this Page of Wands. What was that? Seven of Cups. So options. Show me more about this page of wands. Ugh. What is this? Hold on, we gotta pause. Bottom of the deck is the eight of wands. Eight of wands is about some sort of communications that's getting ready to come towards you, okay? There's an honest conversation getting ready to happen because I feel like seven of cups is here, the moon is here, the nine of wands and the devil is here. And it's like, I don't know, somebody's keeping some secrets somebody realized something somebody realized some shit was maybe going on behind their back this could be somebody who recently just got a divorce here yeah okay <clears throat> eight of wands and six of six of wands whatever this is somebody got judgment over this shit somebody got judged over this whatever happened somebody got judged and then and somebody won <laughs> Somebody lost and somebody won. 
All right, so what does this mean for the collective, though, Spirit? What does this mean for the collective? Who? Seven of Swords. This could be somebody that lied to you. Or this is hidden from you. What does this mean for the collective? Oh, there was an argument of some sort. Nine of Swords. So this communication coming in towards you could be an argument, conflict. Okay, what does this mean for the collective? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, change. Moving forward. Divine timing. Purpose. But what does this have to do with some sort of change? Hmm. What does this have to do with the collective? Queen of Wands. Leo energy. Clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? We're going to find out. Okay, so somebody is supposed to have, is meant to be in this Ten of Pentacles energy. Somebody is meant to be in this Ten of Pentacles energy. It's somebody's destiny to be in this Ten of Pentacles, to have this Ten of Pentacles life. Show me more here about this Wheel of Fortune. That's good karma. Wait a minute. Ooh. The magician came out in reverse. Somebody's moving on from somebody who is very manipulative. The Queen of Wands could be the person that they're moving on from. Okay. Magician in reverse is somebody could be somebody's family member here. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. The five of wands. Show me the collective's energy. Show me the collective's energy. Three of Pentacles. So you're okay, you're in good energy. You're just trying to team up and work with people, collaborate with with people. Have a great time being good, good, good company. You know what I'm saying? Three of Pentacles, three. You, you know, you could be teaming up with someone here, and you have a contract or something, celebrating something that's a contract or something here. Feel, I feel like you're in good in energy, <clears throat> enjoying life. Show me the collective energy. Collective. What's that? Show me the collective. Yeah, Six of Cups. You're happy. You're having a great time. Now, this could also be energy that you might want to reconcile with somebody and you, but I feel like you're seeing something from a totally new perspective here. I feel like you're seeing life like, let me cherish the moment and be in good energy and good company. And that's all that matters. Show me the energy of the collective. Yeah. See, you're, you are a gift giver. You're a really kind hearted, loving person. You could be very charitable. You could be like an avid volunteer. Like, <clears throat> you you are someone here who's, you're a good person. And you, you really don't want to be around any negative. Yeah, and as I say negative, bottom of the deck is the five of swords. You really don't want to be around any negative people. There isn't somebody in your past. For some of you guys, listen, there's someone, either the new person coming towards you was dealing with someone who was very karmic and, and they were lying, thieving, cheating, whatever they were doing behind their back, they figured this out and they're healing from this. Um, and there was some sort of manipulative family dynamic, okay? Um, for others of you, this could have been your situation with your person or this could be like you, the person you're in separation from, this is what they're going through. Everybody's situation is going to be different. So what's coming towards my collective spirit is what we want to know. What's coming towards my, who or what is coming towards the collective? Who or what is coming, who or what is coming towards the collective? The truth is coming towards you. Who or what is coming towards the, <coughs> who or what is coming towards the collective? Hold on y'all. I, this is crazy. Who who or what? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> these cards is like hitting me in my face. Follow, Spirit is telling you when this offer comes in. Hold on, I'm trying to pick it up. When this offer comes in and it's coming in fast and quick and hot, which is this abundance that we keep that Spirit keeps telling me about. You need to trust your intuition. The high priestess, trust your intuition. Okay, but anywho. 
there is somebody here. <clears throat> two things. This could be one of two things. The first thing I got with this situation is there's somebody from the past coming towards you that misses you, that, that hasn't talked to you, that's stressed out, that stresses out about you over like at night when they get lay down and go to bed, they can't go to sleep because they're thinking about you. Or when they go to bed and go, go to sleep, they wake up and they're dreaming about you. One of the sort, right? This person is having trouble in their home. Four of Wands in reverse. This person's having trouble in their home. And the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords came out. And this this is what this person's thinking about. This person can't sleep because all they're thinking about is telling you the truth, having a conversation with you, and also having sex with you, I feel like, as well. Something's going on in this person's home, okay? Or, or this could be the same Divine Masculine King of Cups who found out all of this information, whatever this was, was going on in his home. Right? It wasn't good. It wasn't right. All right? Now, for those of you who you think that does not apply to you in any type of way or just be aware of it, for those of you who have an, um, a new a new uh, beginning in career or your purpose or something like that, like the divine is gifting you this Ace of Pentacles uh, idea, something could be, whatever this is, you may have to like move or you may have to like uproot from your home or where you're from or something. And Spirit is saying, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Okay? Trust your intuition. Um, but, but I'll get more information. Because the Queen of Pentacles is on the bottom of the day. Which is good energy. Um, shoot. Queen of Pentacles is find a new house. <laughs> you can go find a nice new house. Okay? I'm just saying. Um, ooh, the devil just popped out. I didn't even ask a question. Capricorn energy. Hmm. There's something hidden here. I don't know what, but just be mindful of that. Trust your intuition. So tell me more about this high priestess. Tell me more about the high priestess. Trust your intuition. You may need to trust your intuition and set boundaries. Yeah, you do. I, but we already talked about the spirit. I feel like spirit is telling me the same thing. Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands. This is you like cutting out any aggression cutting out any competition, setting boundaries with people who are in this negative devil energy here and conflict. This is just you recognizing it and trusting your intuition and just knowing who to cut off or yeah. It's too much confusion and drama. It's too much. Look at that. It's too much confusion and drama. The three of swords wanted to come out so bad. I don't know. Show me about um, this Eight of Wands, the Queen of Cups energy. Show me about this Eight of Wands. So this information could be coming towards you. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or you're just an empath, like I said earlier, right? That person I described. Yeah, you got a love offer coming towards you, but you have your back turned to it. Hmm. Maybe you don't see it coming. You may want to offer something. You may, somebody may want to offer something. <sighs> so when you turn into this queen of pentacles, because this queen of pentacles just fell out. When you turn into this queen of pentacles, male or female, when you move into this next phase of your life, this knight of cups is coming towards you. The hair of fine. Commitment. Show me more. Justice. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. That that's that wheel. The scales are balancing out here. You've been waiting for this. I feel like the Ace of Cups just fell out on top of the Justice card. So I feel like you've been waiting for this. I feel like you've been waiting for this. Yeah, you've been waiting for this. The world, you've been waiting for this. And the lovers and the emperor. You've been waiting for this. This emperor is very busy. This emperor is very busy. Let me show me what else is coming towards my collective. Who or what? This emperor is very busy person. I hope you know that. Well, spirit just said you need to take action like five times in this reading. I just saw their car fly out again. <laughs> spirit said, if you don't take action, I know something. Where is it? it where did it go? 
Um, and the intuition card just came out again too. Hold on a second. See that action? Action just came out several times, okay? No more overthinking. You're breaking the cycle of inaction and finally getting something done. You will set your plans in motion and realize action is the only way to move forward in life. Didn't we say that already? You need to move forward. Move on from these people over here causing this conflict. Move on from the toxic ex. Move on from... Move forward into your purpose. Okay, period. Intuition is here again. Your intuition is your superpower, whether you know it or not. You're harnessing that. Okay, your psychic abilities and learning to trust that inner voice to guide the decisions you make. You are harnessing that power. Remember that. Because the high priestess came up in here several times. That energy came up in here several times. Spirit said, I said what I said. Okay, then we have perspective. That was you in the hangman energy, right? We talked about that. Perspective. You'll, re you'll realize that there's only one thing you can change, and that's your perspective. And find peace in knowing that what you've endured has purpose. And even if you do not understand it yet, it still had a purpose. This is the energy that you need to be in, right? I'm looking for this. Yeah, the hangman. This is you looking back over your friends, family, co-workers, the things that make you happy, getting a new perspective, healing, you know. All right, let me move on here. Because we got several cards that flew out here. Several. Okay. Let's see what go. We got rest. You're disconnecting from the world and giving yourself the space to rest and grow in your awareness of what is real and meaningful to you. Rest. Okay, then we have ending. Something will come to an end that must take place before you can free yourself to move forward. All right, let go of what was, celebrate the good and forgive the bad. It's all part of the journey. It's all part of the journey. Okay, then we have delusions. That was probably that seven of cups I saw too, but <laughs> thank you spirit. It says you can stay hold up in your mind, wishing, waiting, and wanting, or you can get up and make changes. Don't get lost in the fantasy world when you create a reality that is so much better. Delusions. Okay. Breakthrough. There's an unexpected breakthrough happening in some area of your life. Faded events, unexpected messages, shocking love developments. I mean, anything can happen. All right, some form of breakthrough here. Yeah, and the breakthrough is nine times out of ten something that you feel real passionate about, right? Because that's that ace of swords and ace of um, wands energy. We have rebellion. No more, no more playing it safe. You're learning to care less about what others think and get in tune with your inner rebel. Time to discover your true authentic self while you reap the benefits. And then we have marriage. You may get engaged or commit to something or someone because you feel in your heart to be right. You're ready to, do, to give it your all. All to something you can emotionally and deeply connect with. Now, for some of you all, this could be a contract, right? Like I was saying earlier, it could be a marriage contract, could be a new commitment, um, but it could also be like something you're really passionate about that has to do with your purpose that you really, really love because that Ace of Cups can and the Ace of Pentacles can be about your purpose too. Just apply this where it goes. Um, yeah, so you're having the end things, you're on a healing journey. Um, you know, you there's a lot of toxic, you know, energy around you. You're like really sensitive in, in this high priestess, sensitive queen of cups type energy, empathic energy. Um, you know, you're looking great, feeling good. The queen of um, wands here is somebody here who takes action, you know, they have confidence. So spirit is, you know, maybe telling you have a little bit more confidence here, you know, and don't be afraid to take action because action came up several, several times in this reading too, right? Um, you're getting karmic justice for sure. Again, I don't know if this manipulative uh, magician energy in reverse was, you know, someone that you dealt with in the past or the new person that's coming in towards you. They may have dealt with that. If, you know, it could be both. You know, you never know what the people you're dating had to have just experienced too, whatever it is. You know, just don't fall victim to getting into it with people, you know, or stooping to people's, 
level and arguing with them. Like, let, let those people over there be in this four of wands in reverse energy, which is unstable, unhappy. Uh, you know, instead of being built on concrete, their foundation is, is built on quicksand. You know what I'm saying? Let those people have their, um, oh, recognition. I missed a card. You got recognition coming in too. The spotlight is on you. Not only will you accomplish your goals and come out on top, but others will also recognize your success. You fought a good fight. You damn sure did. Oh my gosh. Oof. You definitely fought a good fight. Trust your intuition. Please do me a favor and trust your intuition. <laughs> All right. That was a good reading, you guys.